Most of the eggs that we see in stores are white or brown, but there's actually a whole spectrum of egg colors out there. With Easter fast approaching, you might see a whole bunch of pretty crazy colored eggs out there in the world. But these guys, even though they look like they have really crazy colors, are actually naturally colored. So there are some white ones in here and some brown ones. These are the pretty normal ones we see. You can also see there's some sort of green eggs and some bluish eggs too. So these blue eggs are my favorite. I think they're such a pretty, pretty color and there's some pretty cool science behind why they're blue. While white eggs contain no or low levels of pigments in their shells, there's a class of compounds known as pyroles, which give brown and green and blue eggs their colors. Now it's thought that ancestral eggs were all white, but that evolving these different colors might have given evolutionary benefits to these different types of eggs. So it's possible that the different pigments and compounds in them gave them a higher structural integrity or perhaps a microbial defense. What about these blue eggs specifically? The blue egg trait is known as oocyan, OO for egg as in oocyte, and cyan as in blue, like the color you always have to change in your printer. Blue eggs result from a buildup of a biopigment known as biliverdin in the shell of the egg. Biliverdin interacts with a molecule that normally makes eggs brown, known as protoporphyrin, and the two together create a blue color. So what is all that biliverdin doing in the shell? Because oocyan is a hereditary trait that comes from a few specific lineages of chickens, you can imagine that you might be able to trace back to that first event which created the first blue egg-laying chicken. And researchers have done pretty much that. They looked at the genomes of these chickens, and what they found was an insertion of retroviral DNA right by a gene that encodes for a solute carrier that normally carries bile salts like biliverdin. I'll back up. Retroviruses are a kind of virus that not only inject their nucleic acids into the cell of whatever it is they're attacking in order to hijack it and use it for their own purposes. Oh no, retroviruses also take their own genetic material and stick it into the genome of whatever it is that they're infecting. And in that way, their DNA gets passed on not only from cell to progeny cell, but also from parent to child through generations. So way back when a retrovirus infected a chicken and it stuck a little bit of its DNA right next to a gene that encodes for a carrier which carries these bile salts like biliverdin around the cell. And what did it do? It cranked that gene all the way up to 11. It created more of this carrier to carry more bile salts around the cell. And not only that, but it did it in a tissue specific fashion, turning this carrier up in the shell. And that little chunk of DNA created a whole bunch of very pretty eggs. Go forth, do science, and happy Easter.